Shout out to my one and only. Now you be my Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing good and I hope you guys are ready for this bridal makeup transformation. I have here my sister friend um, here with me and um, we decided to do this bridal makeup tutorial. Um, so as you guys can see, I went straight in by cleansing her face by using the micellar water. Step one is done, which was cleansing. Now we're gonna move on to step two. I used the Clinique Clarifying Lotion in number two. I use this to tone her skin and I did this just so that I can have you know a clean and ready canvas for this transformation right after that I let that sit in and then I move on to the brows for brows I started off by outlining her brows by using the wet and wild brow pencil in the shade dark brown and then I use the ABH brow pomade in the shade chocolate after filling her brows with the pomade I went ahead by cleaning up her brows using a concealer that was two shades lighter than her complexion. I believe I used the LA Pro concealer in the shade Almond, and that was for the bottom. And then for the top, I believe I used the shade Chestnut. I then take a blending brush to blend out. Um, the concealers, I blend out the bottom and the top, and now I'm taking a brow tint. This is from Essence, and this is in the shade Caramel. I use that just to kind of add a little bit of softness to our brows. Now let's move on to the eyes. I had already prepped our eyes off camera. I use the same concealer that I use for the bottom of her brows. Taking the 39A palette from Morphe, I started off by using the shade define me and a little bit of sunder and then i moved on to the shade vibrant vibrant is my main crease color so i want this one to pop more and then after that i started to add some definition to our crease by taking the shade expression and then to have some more definition to our crease i added a little bit of slice then after that i went in by cutting her crease by using a concealer, the same concealer that I used to prep her eyes. Once the concealer was down, I went ahead to blend out the edge of the concealer by using a bit more of expression and slice. And then for our lid color, I used the shade Canvas, also from the same palette. And then right after placing the lid color, I didn't want a demarcation line between Canvas and the darkest crease color so i added a little bit of passion in between just so i can blend it out eyes completed for lashes today i do not know the name of the lash that i used because it was an old pair that i had at home um i do not know the brand or the name but i placed our lashes on and then i decided to add some more glitz to our eyes by placing a clear glitter onto the canvas the shade canvas and um, for all information about my glitter, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Now onto the face. And to prep, I started off by using the Skin Denivia Primer Spray. And then after that, I used the Dr. Brand Pores No More Primer. Once the primer has set into our skin, I moved on to foundation. For foundation, I used the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. You guys know I'm a MAC girl. I love my MAC foundations. Um, for all of my clients, my brides, I use MAC foundation. I just love how it photographs. The shade I use for her is NW48. Um, first, I use a brush to apply this so it can give me the coverage that I want. And then I use a beauty blender to further blend the foundation. Now onto highlighting. I use the No Filter Colourpop Foam, no foundation, concealer. And this is the shade 60 
deep golden, something like that. This was the old number. I let the concealer sit on her face for a little bit and then I blended it out using a beauty blender and then I set it using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And then I set her entire face using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Deep Dark. I contoured her face using the Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. I use this as a bronzer and I also use it as contour. I contoured and blonde, I contoured and bronzed up her cheekbones, her forehead, um, the size of her nose, a little bit on her jawline, not too much. And then I moved on to blush. For blush, I used the La Femme blush in the shade Sienna. And this will give me the perfect flush of color that I need for her face. And then right after that, I decided to smoke out a bottom lash line by using the same colors I used in a crease, just to have a little bit of more dimension to her eyes. Now onto the lips. For lips, I lined her lips using the MAC Ninth Month Lip Liner. And then for lip color, I used the ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Dusty Rose. I first left it matte and then I decided to add a little bit of gloss to it. At this point, I actually thought I was done because the way our face was looking, it looked like I already set it. It looked like it was already glowing, but, but I had not done that yet. So I went ahead and set her entire face using the MAC Fix Plus, and then um, I moved on to glow. For glow, I decided to use the Jackie Aina La Peach, I think that's what it is. Yes, La Peach um, for our glow. This glow right here just does it for me when it comes to my brides it just has this perfect pink the perfect gold the perfect rose gold i think that's what it is it's the rose gold color that i just love about this this brings us to the end of this bridal makeup transformation i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did we really enjoyed creating this look and um she loved how it turned out and she already said this is exactly what she wants to look like on her own wedding day coming very soon we cannot wait but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching as always dolls let me know if you guys enjoyed this i would really like to know that and also let me know what you guys would like to see next um Thank you as always for watching those and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye and stay blessed. Mwah.